the last three problems are relatively easy. Looking at 29 and looking at this function, comparing that with f of x equals to x squared, looking first at the multiplier of x squared, the fact that uh, this has a number 1 in front of it. They're both positive, so this graph opens upward. Okay, it is. It has a vertical stretch compared to this graph by a factor of two. Or else you could say it is thinner by a factor of two. And it has a vertical shift. It shifts down vertically two units. So a shifts down two units. Now remember, this is all relative to the original function or the parent function, f of x equals 1x squared. Okay? So that's 29. 30. 30. Here, comparing this equation with this function, uh, first of all, looking at the negative sign. Negative sign tells me that uh, this graph reflects across the x-axis. Okay. The fact that this, looking just at the number now, not the sign, one half is less than one. So this gets wider, or we would call a horizontal stretch. Horizontal stretch by a factor of one half. Or you could say wider by a factor of one half. And you notice that there is no C. There is no, it doesn't go up or down. So these are the only two differences it is from the original f of x equals 1x squared. All right. And then looking at 31, here again looking at the negative sign, so it reflects across the x-axis. Looking at the number 3, we can see that this has a vertical stretch by a factor of 3. And it's, it's vertical because it is larger than 1. So vertical stretch by a factor of 3. And looking at the C portion of this, uh, this is shifted up 1 unit. Shifted up.